Suraj Ramesh, Product Manager for OCFO Stack DR. In this video, I am going to talk about the recently announced DR Drill plant type, followed by a quick demo. So, DR Drill feature allows you to create a copy of your production stack in the standby region for testing and validation without any impact to your production stack. So, this will be ideally used for doing any DR mock testing. So, in a DR production group, we support various member types which can be added depending on your topology. So, if you add a compute, volume group, autonomous database, serverless, file storage, and load balancer, in both primary and DR protection group according to a data topology and then if we create a DR drill plant type we'll be able to see a built-in plant groups and steps automatically created. Suppose if you are using a base DB or X database system currently you have to create a user defined plant group and script for converting the role from physical standby to snapshot standby and vice versa. So there are two types of drill plant. The first one is star drill plant. The star drill plant will create a replica of your production stack in the standby region identical to what is used in switchover or failover plan. The start drill plan will remove the replica of your production stack which was created during the start drill plan. So this is an architecture we are going to see in our demo. So we have two regions, Ashburn is our primary region, Phoenix is the standby region. So I've created all the necessary prerequisites up front. So we have set up an autonomous database in the primary region and then we created an autonomous data guard in the standby region. For the compute, I've created a cross region replication from the Ashburn region to Phoenix region for the boot volume. So once we create a start drill plan type, so these are the plan groups and steps will be automatically created. So we'll have step for activating the volume groups from the primary region to the standby region. And then once the volumes are replicated and started, and then we'll create a virtual machine automatically from the newly activated block volumes. And then we also launch an autonomous database refresh to clone database. And if you have customized your plan with any user defined groups that will also be executed. So for a stop drill plan, we basically do the reverse. So all the volume groups which was created as part of the start drill plan will be terminated. And then we shut down the VM and then we terminate the virtual machines which was created. And then we also terminate the refreshable clone database for the autonomous database. And then if you have any user defined plan groups you have to run, which can be also be run as part of the overall plan. So let's see this in a demo. I've logged into OCA console. I have two tabs. One is primary region, which is Ashburn. The second one is the DR region, which is Phoenix. So I've already created the protection groups, and associated the roles, and then added the members. Let me quickly show the members in the primary region. So in the primary, I have my autonomous database, which is the primary database, and I've added the moving compute instance, in the volume group for the compute. In the standby DR protection group, I have the members only for the autonomous data card. So let's go ahead and create the DR drill plant type. Navigate to the standby protection group region, go to the plan section, create plan, provide a name, and then select the plan type as start drill and hit create. It will take a minute to create. In the meantime, let me show one more thing. So hit create plan and then select the plan type as stop drill. So we'll get a message saying a stop drill plan can only be created after executing a start drill and the production group is in inactive state. So you cannot create a stop drill plan while a start drill plan is active. So a start drill plan has to be in an executed state while and then only you can allow to create a stop drill plan. So take care of this while you create a drill plan. So now a start drill plan has been created. So you can see we have the built-in plan groups and then groups for restoring the volume group create autonomous database refreshable clone and launch compute instance. So now let's go ahead and run a pre-check. So go there and hit run pre-checks. So the pre-checks has been started. The pre-check which was in progress is completed in 49 seconds. So with this, we can go ahead and execute the plan. Go to the execute DR plan. Select the DR drill plan type. Since we have just executed the pre-checks, I'm going to disable it and hit execute DR plan. So that will start executing all the necessary steps in order to bring all the components in the DR region. So it took around 30 minutes to complete all the necessary tasks. So let's verify the compute instance. We can see uh, the compute instance has been created in the Phoenix region. And also in the autonomous database, uh, we can see a refreshable clone database has been created successfully. So with these resources, application team can perform the necessary mock testing 
and then do whatever required to sign off the BR drill. So once they are done and they are ready to go ahead and terminate all the resources, then you can come back to the protection group and then create a stop drill plan. So before that, I would like to quickly show a couple of things here. So if you notice the, the protection group role, uh, we can see the status is showing us uh, inactive drill in progress. You can see the same status in both primary and the standby DR protection group, uh, which means you cannot create or use any other plans while the drill in progress, right? So basically you cannot use a switchover or a failover plan in case if that is available, you cannot use it. Right? So the, basically you have to complete the drill, select the plan type as stop drill, you can go ahead and create the stop drill plan now. Stop drill plan has been created successfully. So let's verify the plan group. So we will terminate the stop compute instances and then do the deletion of the autonomous refreshable goon and then few housekeeping items to return back to the original. Let's run a pre-check for the stop drill plan. Click run pre-checks, select the stop drill plan and hit run pre-checks. Stop drill pre-checks has completed successfully. You can see the status has succeeded. Now let's go ahead and execute the stop drill plan. Select the execute DR plan, select the plan name status. I will skip the enable pre-checks button and execute DR plan. Stop drill plan has completed successfully. You can see all the plan groups are showing as successful. And it took around 8 minutes, nine, 10 seconds to complete this plan. So we can see the compute instance has been terminated. And also the refreshable clone database has been terminated. Let's also verify a couple of things here. First thing I want to show here is the production group status. So now it has returned to state active in both Phoenix as well as standby. And also if you notice the plan type, the start drill plan became active and the stop drill became inactive. So with this we have seen in this video what is a DR drill plant types and also a quick demo of how to use this plant type. Thank you for watching.